Oh, shoot. I'm double booked again. Weekly status or strategy brainstorm? What would you choose? Yeah, strategy brainstorm's more fun. I'll send them a quick message. Cool. They'll record it for me. On to the brainstorm. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you. This will be awesome. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Shiraz Kupala, Group Product Manager for Microsoft Teams Meetings. And I'm Aya Tange, Product Marketing Manager for Microsoft Teams. Meetings have always been the cornerstone of teamwork. People who are dependent on each other to achieve shared goals inevitably gather to connect, align, and drive progress. Yet it's clear now more than ever, we are all overwhelmed by meetings. Prior to COVID, most meetings happened in person, while now they're all remote. What used to be a quick hallway chat has now become a 30-minute online meeting. Whether looking back to then or now, what remains constant is back-to-back meetings. But how productive are they? Whether it comes from unprepared attendees, distractions, or a lack of follow-up, meetings can sometimes be counterproductive. How can you and your team make the most of your time together? At Microsoft, when we think about meetings, we take a different approach. Meetings are important, but are only one aspect of success. Much more goes into getting work done. Video conferencing alone isn't enough. The way we've been working can be improved. We need to think outside the meeting. With teams, it's not all about the meeting. Not every decision, touch point, or collaboration moment needs a meeting. It's about getting work done and driving results together. Microsoft Teams is designed to help you collaborate, save time, and stay in the flow of work. In Teams, since you meet where you work, scheduling meetings, sharing files, chatting with your colleagues is streamlined. And with the power of Microsoft AI, and the Microsoft Graph connecting the dots for you behind the scenes, you stay connected and engaged with your own personal network. And for those times when you do need to meet, Teams is the best place to gather and collaborate. Teams meetings aren't just another set of ordinary online coordinates that connect you with a group of people for 40 minutes. Teams transforms your typical meeting experience into a state-of-the-art, inclusive, interactive, and intelligent workspace that allows you to meet smarter, stay focused, and achieve more. We need to change the way people think about meetings and meeting culture. To do that, let's start at the beginning. When working on a project, the continuum of collaboration starts well before the meeting. Sharing and chatting about ideas, co-authoring content in Teams chat and channels. Here, I'm working on a project with Aya. We're co-authoring our quarterly update presentation in a Teams channel along with the rest of the team. From a channel conversation, I can jump straight into the document and edit in context. And with Office 365, there can be multiple authors editing and commenting on the document on their own or together in real time. When you schedule the meeting in Outlook, you'll typically include the pre-read content for everyone. With Teams, you can communicate with the group ahead of time to prepare. Here, it's as simple as clicking the chat tab to jump into a conversation with this group. Any chats, Files, notes, and whiteboards created here will stay within the context of this meeting and are available before, during, and after the meeting. Oh, and with the new meeting extensibility we're releasing, I can add a variety of apps to enhance my meetings. Here, you see our built-in polling app with Microsoft Forms, which lets you gather information both before your meeting to prepare and during the meeting to keep people engaged. I can define the polls that I want to add to the meeting, including a variety of response types. Here, the poll is added to my meeting, and I can choose to launch this when I'm ready, whether before to help prep or during or after my meeting. Beyond polls, you can add a wide variety of extensions to Teams meetings to extend the capabilities. The rich extensibility platform enables companies and partners to develop specialized solutions. And access to the substrate enables these extensions to be aware of the intelligence in your organization. In one place, everyone gets the apps, pre-reads, and other content. By bringing the content and conversations together in the same place where you work, chat, schedule, and meet, Teams Meetings and Microsoft 365 help your team prepare ahead. Another important part of having a successful meeting is being in control. Teams provides the options you need to keep your meeting secure, whether it's meeting with external attendees, 
or a classroom full of students. In meeting options, I can configure multiple aspects of my meeting. Now, there are times where it's important to control who directly enters the meeting versus being sent into a lobby to wait to be admitted by the presenter. Whether you're having a quick huddle with a core group of presenters before kicking off the meeting or organizing talking points for a client pitch that's about to begin, the meeting lobby can help you vet attendees. So there's a new option available for bypassing the lobby, only me. This means that every person invited to the meeting will automatically be sent to the lobby, including those within your organization. Now, as a reminder, there are also two types of meeting roles in Teams, presenter and attendee. The attendee role is limited. Unless defined by back-end Teams meeting policies, attendees can unmute and share their video and participate in the meeting chat. Presenters, on the other hand, have a lot more control. They can share content, take control of shared PowerPoint presentations, mute and remove meeting participants, admit people from the lobby, and choose to start or stop the meeting recording. Here, you can define who presents. As a best practice, you should consider your audience and meeting objectives when defining your presenters. You can choose your organization, specific people, or limit it only to yourself. Don't worry though, presenters can toggle the attendee presenter role directly from the roster in the Teams meeting. So if you forgot to give someone permission to share their screen or want to limit their capabilities, you can do so right in the meeting. Now, the last area I wanna call out on this screen is the ability to keep your meeting attendees' microphones on mute. This is a new feature coming soon to Teams meetings that lets you have greater control over who can speak during the meeting. In the event that someone would like to share or contribute to the conversation, they can raise their hand or request to speak via chat. A meeting presenter can then choose to allow individuals to unmute their microphone. Note that this setting only applies to meeting attendees. Now that we've prepared the team, let's join the meeting. Here, you see the new meeting pre-join screen, which streamlines video and audio settings and intelligently chooses the right settings to help avoid the awful echo and howling. And if there's a Microsoft Teams room system nearby, it'll automatically detect and connect to help me save time. Background blur and the wide variety of custom backgrounds lets you project a professional image wherever you are. Teams offers consistent and familiar experiences across devices and applications, including PC, Mac, iOS, Android, and web-based clients. Our hardware ecosystem of Microsoft Teams rooms phones, and Teams displays make it easy to connect and collaborate. And anyone with an email address can join a Teams meeting, no Teams account required. Looking ahead, more and more meetings will be a hybrid combination of in-person and remote. When you're in a Microsoft Teams room with a Surface Hub, coordinated meetings automatically connects the devices to the meeting with one click and maximizes screen real estate by using the front of room displays to show attendees in the meeting gallery while the Surface Hub is used to show content or to conduct a collaborative whiteboarding session. With this innovative feature, you can experience collaborative meetings like never before. Now, the most important part of the meeting is about connecting with people. The new dynamic view in Teams meetings puts people first. It right-sizes the content so everyone is visible, audio-only participants get prominence next to videos, and it allows you to customize the view to show the people you need to connect with while the content is being presented. Building on our raise hand feature in the dynamic view, you can also send a reaction so the presenter knows what you think. And my new favorite feature is together mode, available only in Teams meetings. It uses AI to segment people and neutralize their backgrounds, bringing the group closer together in a natural shared space. This works in any type of meeting, including brainstorms, presentations, classrooms, and even when using our breakout rooms. Our research using EEG brain scans has measured how this reduces cognitive overload and helps battle meeting fatigue. If you think about it, Aya, when you look at a video frame, most of the pixels are a background and not the person. Right. And together mode focuses on the people. You're right. That's my favorite feature too. But audio is just as important as video. And with all of these remote meetings using up limited bandwidth on wired, Wi-Fi, and mobile networks, 
audio has suffered. To address that, though, we have developed algorithms to assist with packet loss recovery. We've also developed a codec named Satin to assist in low bandwidth situations. So let's take a listen. This first audio clip is what happens when you have a very choppy network. When meeting over a wife, a cell connection. Ouch, that's painful. I know. But when joining meetings over a poor Wi-Fi or cellular connection, high packet loss can adversely affect the call experience. In this demo, we have configured the network to induce a burst loss of 300 milliseconds every 600 milliseconds, corresponding to 50% packet loss. What you just heard is our engineers deleting half the data and then reconstructing what's left into a clearly intelligible voice. That unprecedented packet loss resiliency is what we are bringing to all Teams meetings this fall. Using machine learning, Teams detects abnormalities with network patterns and optimizes audio quality for ultra-low bandwidth networks, including those with as little as 7 kilobits. Let's listen to the differences. We tried to replace the coin, but failed. A pound of sugar costs more than eggs. Drop the two when you add the figures. The ship was torn apart on the sharp reef. We tried to replace the coin, but failed. A pound of sugar costs more than eggs. Drop the two when you add the figures. The ship was torn apart on the sharp reef. Now let's jump over into a Teams meeting. Seeing and hearing each other is just the first step. We are making Teams meetings more inclusive than ever. Last year, we released live captions to help you follow along when it's hard to hear. We will soon be updating live captions to include speaker attribution. Now, you can follow along with what is being said in the meeting, including who said it. Aya, here's where we take that to the next level with the new live transcription. Say you get distracted in a meeting or you joined a bit late. With the live transcript, you can just scroll back and review what was said earlier. And it will also include who said what to make it easier to follow the conversation. I've been using that feature a lot recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Aya. Thanks to the new chat bubbles, I got your message about the final numbers. Let's take a look. Sure. One second. I'm pulling it up. So here's the summary. Do you have any questions? With PowerPoint presenting, I can navigate the slides on my own to look at something more closely. I, I see on the previous slide that our growth was particularly strong this quarter. Yeah, that's actually because we were able to speed up development sooner than expected in early Q3. You can see on our approach in slide two. Let me jump to where you are. Ah, I see what you mean. I had a few other ideas to consider. Let me pull up a whiteboard. Here's what I wrote before the meeting. Let me add one more. That's cool. I really like this part. Thanks. I'll take a note to follow up on that. Great. As you saw, we're making it easy to present PowerPoint or collaborate on a whiteboard while on the go. Now, from your phone, you can also share your camera to show anything from a scraped knee to a building facade or share your entire mobile screen and any app in a Teams meeting. Presenting confidently is so important. We are bringing PowerPoint presenter view to Teams meetings so the presenter can see their slide notes and thumbnails while the audience sees just the slide. And you can show the meeting chat and roster alongside to keep up with all the activity going on in your meeting. Many memorable presentations engage your audience. Using the built-in polls, you can ask questions easily in real time. And because it's powered by Microsoft Forms, you have the rich reporting capabilities to analyze the results later. All these new capabilities during your team's meeting help you better engage with each other and have more productive meetings. Now, let's see what we have captured so we can follow up on everything we did in the meeting. In the past, someone had to collect all the information from the meeting and share it out manually. This was cumbersome at best, and often, frankly, it was delayed or just forgotten. With Teams, the conversation and artifacts automatically come together in one familiar place, so you can keep the collaboration going. Open the calendar item, and you'll find the meeting recap includes the chat, recording, transcript, notes, attendance report, and whiteboard alongside the files attached to the meeting. The responses from your meeting polls 
are right there too, so you can analyze the results in context. I'm running late for my next meeting. Aya, can you take it from here? You got it, Shiraz. Good luck on that next meeting. Thanks. Now, our goal is to not only transform the way people and companies think about meetings, but to also help you stay in the flow of work. From project start to project success, a lot happens in between, and Teams is the only solution that can help you every step of the way. We want you to make the most of your meetings, to meet smarter, to stay focused, and achieve more. But don't just take our word for it. Let's take a look at how Teams is helping customers across the globe. Mercy Housing has adopted Teams meetings to stay virtually connected to their residents during the pandemic. At Slalom, they reimagined their in-person engagements during COVID-19 with the shift to remote work. Now, if you aren't a Teams meeting user, we invite you to host your next meeting online with us. Deploying meetings just got easy. We have announced a new promotional offer for free audio conferencing until the end of your agreement, enabling you to call into your next Teams meeting at no extra cost. The offer is available for new and existing customers that meet the offer eligibility criteria. To learn more, please contact your Microsoft sales representative. We've barely touched the surface on the meeting spectrum that Teams offers. In addition to group meetings, Teams delivers everything from the classic one-on-one -on -one meetings and calls all the way up to large-scale events and webinars. For additional information on these capabilities and more, be sure to check out the following sessions here at Ignite. And don't forget to join the Ask the Experts Q&A at the link below. From all of us at Microsoft Teams, thank you for joining us today.